In the previous lesson, we looked at equations that had denominators, but they were very easy denominators. They were normal numbers, like we had examples like x over 3 plus 1 over 2 equals to x over 4. And then we simply needed a common denominator of 12. But now in this lesson, we are going to have denominators that have letters in them. So we're going to have x's at the bottom. The technique that we are going to use is still going to stay the same. We need to get a common denominator. Now, what is a common denominator? A common denominator, let's break up the words. Common means the same and denominator means the bottom. So it's the same bottom. So what could we get all of these into? We could get all of those into 6x. Let me show you how that would work. Let me actually make that x more of a, a proper x. There we go. We could do that by multiplying this one by 6. We could multiply this one by 3x. And we could multiply this one by 2. Now what you do to the bottom, you do to the top. So we would have to multiply this one by 6, this one by 3x, and this one by 2. So at the top you'd have 6 times 2 which is 12, 1 times 3x is 3x, and 4 times 2 is 8. Now if you want you can write the common denominator which is 6x, 6x, and 6x. See how they're all the same now? However, when you have an equation the denominators do not need to be there once you've made them the same. And so this is where we are now at. We can simply solve. So 3x equals to 8 minus 12. This means that 3x is negative 4. And that means that x is negative 4 over 3. This next one's more interesting because now you've got this weird x minus 1. And this does confuse students. I've seen this a lot. A lot of students do battle to understand what to do here. So what we're going to do, and, and it's going to take a bit of time, but I'm going to show you a couple of examples. The lowest common denominator here is simply going to be x with another x minus 1. The reason for this is that I could easily, I could just multiply this one with x, I could multiply this one with x minus 1, and I could multiply this one with x and x minus 1. Think about it. What would this give you if you multiply it with x? Well, it would be x, x minus 1. What about this one? If you multiply it with x minus 1, it would be x, x minus 1. And what about 1 multiplied by that? Well, it's easy. x and x minus 1. Look at that. All of them are now the same. That is what a lowest common denominator is. It's the same bottom. So we need to do the same to the top. So we're going to multiply this one by x, this one by x minus 1, and this one by x, x minus 1. And so we don't have to multiply it out just yet. I'm just going to say 4x, and we're going to multiply that with x plus 2, that 2 is going to be multiplied by x minus 1, and then that's equal to 4, which is going to be multiplied by x and x minus 1. Now, I'm not going to go write out the denominators. If we did, though, it would be x, x minus 1, x, x minus 1, and x, and x minus 1. I said I wasn't going to, but I just did. Now, when the denominators are all the same, which they are, you can ignore them. And so we just left with the top parts. So we're going to multiply that together, which is 4x squared, plus 2x minus 2, because I put the 2 inside, and that's equal to 4x squared minus 4x. These 4x squares are actually going to cancel once you take everything over, so that's quite nice. So what we now have is 2x minus 2 equals to negative 4x. I'm going to bring the negative 4x over, so that's going to become 2x plus 4x, and I'm going to take this negative 2 over to become positive 2. Now we have 6x equals to 2, divide by 6, and if it simplifies, 2 a third. 